I know. Oh. So, um, it is Monday and I am home from work. I am going to take it upon me to actually do some coding practice, um, and to update my, uh, portfolio website because it's not terrible. I, um, there's some design changes I want to make, so I'm going to try to like, um, sketch those out and I just want to get it on paper and kind of solidify that decision and then um yeah test out the layout I guess um just to get my hands straight with code again because I have been struggling with imposter syndrome for way too long and I want to start getting applications out so tis what it is so that is tonight's plan so also I went to the Museum of Fine Arts this weekend with my friend in Boston. Um, how cute is this cute little um, note set, this little um, letter set? So it comes with, I'm surprised it comes with more sheets than envelopes, but it comes with these adorable little um, otter shaped um, notepads. They are adorable. She. <laughs> I guess I made a face in the store because I absolutely love otters and she was like, oh, I'm, I'm buying that for you. So thank you, Carly. I love this. I will, I will be getting good use out of this, but it is so cute. So I lied. Um, my intention was to work on my portfolio site tonight, or at least get, um, to iterate some new designs just because I've been not feeling super great about how it looks right now, but, um, I do have some uh, layout ideas in mind. Uh, so I thought I was going to work on my portfolio site tonight, but I realized because A, I have to be up pretty early and I did not get much sleep last night. I think I'm gonna keep it a little more lax and ease myself back into like just practicing code. So my partner reminded me of this website called Codex um, and it's kind of spelled like Pokedex. Um, except code instead of poke. So is it code a dex? I don't know. 
but um, yeah, they just released a JavaScript um, portion, which I'm excited because I was doing Python for a bit, um, but I feel like JavaScript is where I not struggle, but like some concepts I kind of have a harder time with. So I think this will be a nice, excuse me. So I think this will be a nice, fun, gamified way to get back into this. Um, so right now they have Python, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So um, I I love front end stuff. So I'm excited to like dive into all of this again. But uh, yeah, if um, you're looking for a fun way to either start learning code or kind of just pick up um, code again, uh, Codex, I recommend it's, it's fun. And I think you can challenge your friends or like compete with your friends, but Codex, yeah, let me know if you try it out. <laughs> I will report back to you, see how it goes. I do see, not for the JavaScript necessarily, but for some sections, I do say you do have to pay for that. So I will, I will update you on how Codex is going because I'm really excited and I have high expectations for it. But yeah, that'll be uh, that'll be fun. Hopefully, this kind of motivates me to pick up the pace and um, get a routine going again. Okay, so I am gonna get to coding and I will check back in with you before um, I go to bed. Happy weekend! So it's Saturday. Um, it's been a bit since my last video, but um, updates. I did get a new lens. Um, let me see if I can zoom in to show you. So I got a new lens here. Um, so I have a Sony A7 II. Um, so this one is the um, Samyang's 35mm f1.8 stop lens. Um, so I was actually eyeing this one for a minute. Um, I think it was about 300 retail new. Um, 
And I had been looking for pre-owned also, and I couldn't find a, de a deal for this lens. So I waited. I wasn't planning on buying anything for Prime Day, but um, if you're a Prime member, you get exclusive deals. Um, and I didn't see this one marked on sale. Um, especially in my cart, it just showed up as the retail price. But of course, when I clicked it, um, it offered $100 off. So $200 for this lens and I could not pass at that price. So <laughs> I love it. I've been doing some photography. I'm trying to get into portrait photography, maybe cosplay photography eventually. Um, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Also another small update. Um, so I actually ended up moving. I just got this shelf from like here recently. If you watched my last video, I'm gonna change the aperture. So if you watched my last video, you would have seen that I got and assembled this um, shelf from Ikea recently. Um, so I did have it over here, but it felt like, I don't know, it didn't feel right on this side. So I moved it over here. So it did make the space feel a lot more open. And now I have a cute little place to put my plants now. Um, this one I got recently from a nursery that was discounted. Um, I might prune it just because I'm a little worried about how it's growing, but um, yeah, I'll have to, I, I've only propagated a plant once, so I'm a little nervous to propagate this one, but yeah, I would love to uh, propagate it, have another. This is a white night philodendron, and I've been wanting this specific type of plant for a long time. And then we got my little ZZ plant, she's growing pretty big. I think it's time to get a new plant. I think it's time to get a new pot for her, but um, that will be a future um, errand to run. And then we have my, um, I think I can off this plant, but she's doing well. Um, I might get like one of those uh, poles that you tie around just because she is leaning quite a bit, but she's doing well. So that, yeah, that was the biggest update was installing the shelf. And then I also, decided well the, the biggest contributor to me changing the space was that um if you remember my last setup i had an ikea pegboard right here and it actually fell over because i only had that one mounted with um command strips and that actually lasted almost two and a half years but it fell over so i figured that was a sign to change up the space i had the other one here um drilled into the wall you can see i have to patch those up but um it kind of prompted me to change the space up so now i have this cute little shelf situation going on here um yeah and then all of everything else is the same so i'm just trying to slowly make changes um yeah, I really like how much cozier it feels in here now. Um, but also, as a reminder, um, when you're designing a space, it is not a competition. I know there's so many gorgeous and cozy looking spaces online, um, and it's very easy to compare yourself. And um, yeah, it's meant to suit you and your lifestyle. And oh, I just like making my space cozy because life is really stressful and um, unpredictable at times so just having a nice place to unwind after work is really nice um, but yeah that's the setup so far um, I do feel like I do want to add something right below the shelf right here just because it feels a little empty but I kind of like the negative space too so I don't know maybe I'll have something draped underneath it or something I don't know um, but yeah that is uh, that is the space for now. Um, yeah, uh, here's to hopefully a cozy weekend. Cute little little puppy. Uh, Hi, sweetie. Good boy. I love you. You making a vlog appearance? I love you. I'm tr trying not to fall. Good boy. Can you say hi to you too? <laughs> Good boy. I know I love you too. I love you. Yeah. Yeah, you want to get yummy? Then the yummies? We'll go get yummies? <gasps> we'll get yummies? Let's go get yummies. Come on. Turn this down a bit. So you have taste a little cozy fit. Um, this is actually an Aritzia top that I thrifted. It's called the Fortune Top, I believe. Bible Fred. And then we have the Sunday Best Carmen sweater. This is the softest thing. 
I own the original kitten cardigan, which this is inspired by, and I don't think they sell that anymore. Um, but it's uh, quite a bit longer than this, if you've seen me. Actually, I wore it in my dust setup tour video, but that is my absolute favorite cardigan. This one is close to second. It's very soft and just shorter, so it's, so it's a little easier to style. But that is this. And my pants are these cute little lounge pants I got from H&M. Um, and that's the cozy fit for today. <laughs> this is like butter. It's super soft and fluffy. And then little necklace, my tried and true necklace from um, Ana Luisa. That's the cozy fit for today. <laughs> Changes things. I didn't expect to see you here. 